Hi, this is uh, this month's support Q&A question, and it's going to be more of a tutorial than a real question, and it's e even going to be more about um, using the tools on your computer than it is about actual FBS, because I find that a lot of times when I go to support you guys that there is some confusion on what I'm asking you to do, or you're just not familiar with the tools I'm asking you to use. And so we're just going to kind of go over some of those tools. And the first one that I probably get the most questions on is that I'll ask you to go to File Explorer to find something specific. And when I say File Explorer, usually any um, any like yellow file folder on your desktop right here would bring you to File Explorer, or uh, you, you open it up and, and it brings up the actual file that you have there. But this this whole screen is called File Explorer. Another way to get to File Explorer if you're running Windows 10 is that there's always a little yellow icon down here at the bottom. It looks like a little file folder sitting in a file stand that also opens up File Explorer. And it's just going to bring up the same screen. This is this is a File Explorer screen. And on this screen, you can navigate to anywhere in your computer. And this is a, a screen that I use quite a bit to help you uh, figure out your issues that you're having with the program. So I just want you to be aware of that's why I, what I'm talking about when I say File Explorer, and then also how it works. Usually when you open up a new File Explorer, everything on the will be closed, and it will look something a little bit more like this. And from here, you can go to click on this PC, and this is going to list all of your drives. And if I'm talking about trying to find the C drive or the DVD drive or a network drive, your drives are going to be listed down here where it says devices and drives. And I have only my C drive here. And your C drive will usually say Windows C or it might say OS instead of the C. And then have a C behind it or something along those lines. But this is your hard drive, your C drive, your main working drive. And there's a lot of times I might ask you to come and come to this section of your computer to help you uh, in my support role. One of the other tools that I use a lot is have you going to your search bar. If I say search bar, sometimes you get confused. And I, you know, I usually say down the left-hand corner, there's a little magnifying glass here. And you can type anything in here you want, and it will help find it. So if I might tell you to go to FBS 11.5 patch. And as soon as I start typing it in, you'll have this patch right here. And you could click on it and run it. The other way to find your FBS files on a Windows 10 computer is to go to the little Windows icon down here, the Start button. When you click on it, it also has a list of all the programs on your computer, and you can drag down here and find your FBS folder, and then a little arrow, and everything is down here. The third tool I use quite a bit is my um, remote desktop connection. And so I might tell you to open up an internet browser. And on my computer, I use Chrome. And I don't even have, have any other icons to show you, but sometimes you might have a blue E here for Internet Explorer. Firefox might be another browser, although Firefox does not work well with my screen sharing software. I do prefer Chrome. So you open up Chrome. And then when I say type in the address, I am not talking about a search. We are not doing a search. We are going to a direct website. So we go up here to the address bar. And so this is the address bar at the top. And this is the search bar in the middle. So I would tell you to go to fastsupport.gotoassist.com. And you hit enter and it takes you directly to that. It does not do a search. It goes directly to the website I need you to go to. So knowing the difference between your address bar and your search bar and what I mean by internet browser is always helpful as well. Now I will go in and talk again about a little bit in FBS and finding your, um, finding your data drives because this is always, 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 always a big question. So when you open up your product of FBS, your FBS icon, no matter the version, they all work the same and they've worked the same for a long, 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 long time. Um, we're going to go over here on the right. This is a data tree. It used to say data drive up here. It does not say that currently. It just gives you a path. Currently, I am looking in C, FBS, Win 11.4. There's no data there. 
obviously. Um, this is not to show you where your data is, because your data could really be anywhere on the computer. We recommend it being under the program directory in the data folder, but it doesn't mean it is there. So just know that this is what I'm talking about when I say go to the right data drive. There's plus signs and minus signs in front of everybody, uh, in front of every folder here, and then you would have your data folder below it. So usually you'd be in like this and then a data folder. So just please, this is this is the file tree. Um, if you don't know how to use it, please set up a time to be trained on how to use the file tree. And that is this month's Q&A. Thank you.